guess what I have here for you today? That's right, I have keys. And there are a lot of keys on here, right? Well, these keys must belong to someone that has a lot of jobs to do, or someone that really likes to hear these keys jingle as they walk, you know? The way someone likes to wear them on their hip, maybe, or on their belt. I don't think I'd like to do that. First of all, I don't like to have people hear me coming. And then, you know what? Those keys get heavy. Yeah. And, but have you ever noticed how sometimes people have keys, like, made special colors? Or they have different tops on them so they can tell where they go? Special keys for special things? They're made for special locks. Otherwise, if you don't put the right key in the right lock, you can twist it and turn it, and that lock is not going to open no matter what you do. So what do keys do? Right, they unlock things. So I have a question for you, though. Will any of these multiple lots of lots... Oh, here's a strange key. Will any of these keys get me into heaven? Will any of these keys show me how to be close to God? No, none of these keys will do that. But what will? There is something, or rather someone, who is going to do that. And someone who is going to show me how to get into God's kingdom. Who is that? You know, of course, it's Jesus. Well, in our gospel today, Jesus described himself as being the way, the truth, and the life. After his resurrection, Jesus told his disciples, Don't worry, I'm going to prepare a place for you. When everything is ready, I will come and get you, so that you will be with me. You know the way where I am going. No, we don't, said Thomas. We have no idea where you're going, so how will we know the way? Remember Thomas? He needed to have things clear in his mind. I like Thomas. He was always making sure he knew the way. Well, Jesus answered him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. If you know me, you know the Father. See, Jesus was telling them that he was the way and that he was one with God. Those who knew Jesus knew God. We find those words in our Bible in the New Testament book of John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 7. Well, way back in the beginning of the Bible, back in Genesis, remember Adam and Eve, remember how things started out smooth, but then they got rough in the garden? Well, when they sinned, it locked the door between us and the fellowship with God, and it brought pain and hardship into earthly life. Well, lucky for us, God is a pretty good locksmith, and he had a plan to bring us back into relationship with him. And that plan was fulfilled in Jesus. Jesus is the key to life. He's the way we can be saved, draw near to God, and one day go to heaven. Now, that's not something we do for ourselves. Just like we can't wiggle and force the wrong key into a lock and make it open, we can't earn or force our way into heaven. We must come through Jesus. When we put our faith in Christ and trust that his death and resurrection save us, we can rest assured that we are in God's family. You know, we can talk to God. We can share our thoughts. We can tell him our hopes and our needs in the name of Jesus. And we know that we'll be with him in his heavenly household. And one day, and in the meantime, we know that Jesus is here with us, and he will never leave us. Jesus is the key that we need. Will you repeat after me as we pray today? Dear God, you are the way, the truth, and the life. You are the key to all things. Please help us to know how to follow you. Thank you for unlocking the door to life. Thank you for your love. We love you, God. 
In Jesus' name, we give you the praise. Amen. Well, you know, as a PE teacher, I used to carry a lot of keys, and a lot more keys than these. And a ton, there's a ton of cabinets there and a ton of locks. And I'm so glad that sometimes keys like these have been replaced with cards like this. And you know what? The one thing that we need to remember is that Jesus is the only key we need. You guys have a great week. And remember to celebrate your mothers, not just tomorrow, but all week. Have a great week, you guys. I love you. Have you ever thought about how many things your mother has taught you? Your mom has been by your side teaching and guiding you from day one. She taught you to roll over and sit up, crawl, walk, talk, and even play. And that's just scratching the surface. You know, just an example, think about all the things your mom has taught you about shoes. When do we need to wear shoes? Why do we wear shoes? Why do we wear socks with shoes? Why do we wear dress-up shoes instead of fun shoes or athletic shoes sometimes? And let's not forget that great and powerful thing about shoes, that one qualifying thing that you need to know, you know. You need to know how to tie your shoes before you go to kindergarten. That's a great and important thing. Well, moms are always teaching us and caring for us, but that doesn't look the same for all of us. You know, some of us have special moms that picked you. When she could have picked any of a thousand children, remember that she picked you. And some of us might be with people that are just caring for us as if they were our real mom. And that's okay, they're placed by God too. And some of us are still praying for a mom. And some of us know that our moms are being cared for by God right now. But just take a moment to say a prayer for your mom and all that she's done for you. Tell her how much that you love her. And would you take a minute to just give your mom a special thank you? So tell us how much your mom means to you. Give us a text back and tell your mom how much you love her and thank her for what she's done for you. And online today, there's some special uh, papers that you can do just to give your mom a special gift. So remember to say, thank you, mom. I love you. Thank God for your mom and the care you get in your life. And make mom's day, not just tomorrow, make Mother's Day every day, okay? And remember how special she is to you. Love your moms. Love you guys. Make tomorrow special. For more information on Aztec Church of the Nazarene, please visit our Facebook page and email us. God bless.